cardiovascular surgeon Dean Ornish in California has revealed a very interesting study on genes. He looked at uh, a, a, a whole series of prostate cancer patients and instead of giving them conventional medical treatment, he helped them by changing their lifestyle, giving them a better diet, giving them processes to meditate, turning, turning their stress responses into more favorable responses, just giving them a way to handle life. What was very interesting is after several months of just changing the lifestyle and behavior, he looked at the genetic readout of the patients and compared it to the genetic readout before he started the process. He found that 500 genes changed their readout simply by changing lifestyle. And this is only possible if we take care of the causes of cancer. In other words, we have to detoxify the patient, we have to care for a better metabolization of the nutrients, we have to improve the liver function, we have to take care of allergies and infections, we have to take care of dental problems that might impair the patient's immune system, and we have to give a proper diet that provides all the nutrients and substances a, a, a human being needs in order to maintain its health. We will have to peel the onion and uncover what the source of your issue is. Our environment, our internal, our household environment is a major source of some big problems. We get greater toxic exposure from within our house than from without our house. So think about that. We get more toxic exposure by what we're cleaning our house with, what we're putting on ourselves, what we're spraying, what we're freshening the air with, what we are exposed to through the, the world of the EMFs, all the wireless devices all the electrical devices which is creating a condition called dirty electricity which is impacting our body. Um, there are things that we bring into our home that are outgassing chemicals. Our, our computers are outgassing PBDE, a flame retardant. That's, they built it into the computers. When it heats up, it outgasses. We have you know, synthetic flooring, it outgasses. We have um, clothing that's impregnated with this flame retardant that we are outgassing or wearing and gets into our bodies. We're putting on lotions and makeup and chemicals on a daily basis and then we have air pollution and heavy metals and you know, you know, household cleaners, a number of toxins, we're overloaded. We're surrounded, there's no escape.